Now it's time to welcome our next guest, Greg Milia. Greg Milia is the CEO of Milia Advisory Group in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's been in the financial industry since 1989 using conservative income-based strategies to help people in and near retirement protect their savings and achieve their financial goals. He shares his insights on Fox Business News and other financial media outlets, and we're happy to have him back on the income generation. Greg, good to have you back on the show. Thanks for having me, David. And of course, you and I are, of course, really good friends. I don't know if our audience really appreciates the extent to which that's true. So we talk about financial stuff all the time and brainstorm together. Um, but what's been going on over the last couple weeks, the last maybe four weeks? It's weird. We get to, all of a sudden, we get good economic news for two quarters in a row, and now the markets are concerned about a pullback. They're concerned about a recession. Whereas when we had 2% growth, nobody talked about a recession. What's going on? Well, I think it's a combination of a couple things. I think everybody's a little bit worried about the tariff war that's engaging, you know, uh, that's that's just now really kicking off or, or become, becoming implemented. And then, of course, with the rising interest rates, is creating a fear that that's going to cause a business shutdown. Between the two of them, I think we're seeing a lot of volatility as a result, a lot of fear. What do you think about the Fed? Do you think the Fed might just raise rates too fast and create the next recession? Oh, definitely. The Fed has always been, in my opinion, one of the worst predictors of the worst economic you know, gauges is, is what they use, is, is proven to be. Uh, a lot of people blame them for the 1931 crash, that so they were tightening rates into a... In fact, some people make that comparison today, that they're tightening rates into a weaker economy than they really understand and cause the Great Depression, or a part of it at least. Yeah. No, it's true. And now I see them trying to raise rates again quickly. And we'll see what happens. That's, that's, that's my biggest concern, uh, is the, the Fed creating the next recession. So stay with us, Greg. We have uh, another segment. We want to have you back here. And you stay with us, too. We'll be right back with more from Greg Milia on the Income Generation. Welcome back to Income Generation. You're here with David Scranton. And I'm here with my good friend and financial advisor extraordinaire, Greg Milia from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Greg, you know, it's funny. When the markets were going up in August and September, hitting or flirting with new record highs, you know, every week, um, you know, it seemed like the markets weren't worried. And now, all of a sudden, there seems to be this, this worry. I find, though, in talking to clients every day, and I want to see if this is what you're finding, too, that people seem to be worried even when things were calm in the financial market, your average investors seem to be worried. Were you seeing the same thing, or, or is it just here on the East Coast? I no, I would say probably we probably see it more here in the Midwest because you know the, the common consensus things can't keep going up. You know they know that at some point it, that things are going to go down, and they don't. And they also distinctly remember two thousand eight, and, and they don't want to be this close, this much close to retirement. Want to have that happen to them again. So you see the worry factor, I call the pucker factor, is increasing substantially. Now, I don't want to pick on anybody who's watching the show, because if you watch the show, you're watching because, you know, God knows it's not because I'm so incredibly entertaining. You're watching the show because you want to stay informed and up to date, and right here is where you can do it on the income generation, as we like to say. But that having been said, um, you know, sometimes isn't it true, Greg, that the more informed a person is, the more they read, the more they watch, Oftentimes, they're just they're really absorbing more of uh, what I call the dribble, Wall Street's dribble, the stuff that Wall Street really wants them to hear, which is a lot of pro-market language. So in some, and sometimes, it's, it's the more knowledgeable you are, the more informed you are, the more studious you are, sometimes the more you're blind to the common sense side of it. I mean, do you see that or is, or is that just me? I, I do see that at some level. I also see the other side that a lot of time what makes news is bad news, you know, and so sometimes people get and they start looking, you know, if they're fearful, they tend to start looking for the bad to support their position, kind of a human nature thing, I think, to do. And so I, I see it work both ways. But you are right. There's a lot of cheerleading goes out there for the market, too. And if you're looking for that, you know, you're going to find it for sure. So what do you tell people today? First of all, if they're lack of a better way to put it, hell-bent on staying in the stock market. Um, what do you tell them in terms of their stock market strategy? What should they do? What shouldn't they do? Well, you know, it's, well, it, it depends, of, of course, whether they're at, if they're closing on retirement and they're in a growth strategy, then which is what you're referring to as being a stock market, then 
I've got great concerns for a significant drop in the market. You know, we, we often, you and I talk about a third drop that we think that eventually is going to intimate, but um, I, I look at that and think it just can't, you just don't have the time to recover. You know, what happens if it does drop 50%? So first of all, maybe you shouldn't have a lot of your money in the market if you're retired or within 10 years of retirement. But if you're hell bent on staying in the market and you're gonna be there, it sounds like you agree with me. Have one finger on the trigger and be cautious. Greg, thank you. It's been my pleasure once again. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, look forward to having you back. You stay with us too. We'll be right back here with more on the income generation.